So as we've all seen for uh, POV street photography, most people use like the whole chest mount. Well, honestly, I was thinking of picking this one up, so I did. And to see if this works better and it being less invasive. And so it doesn't have to feel weird wearing a full on like strap to my chest the whole time. All right, we're back in the house. I bought this like I showed you guys just to maybe fully, if not most of the time, replace this. Because wearing this, it's not terrible, but also it's kind of big. It takes up quite a bit of space in the bag. And uh, it's just a little weird carrying this, especially if I'm just gonna be out and about in uh, Europe at all, or just pretty much anywhere. Obviously the screw that keeps everything in, the clip itself, which a bit longer than I thought it was gonna be, which is, that's good. And then the little clip that obviously keeps the GoPro together. Nice and slid in. Dude, it is so hot lately. I'm really over it. I hope it's not hot when I go to Europe because that would be kind of a, a little nightmare. Heat is the enemy for me. As you can see, I'm kind of sweating it out. That's a pretty awesome bonus. That thing is magnetic. Uh, I'm not sure how strong the magnet is because GoPros aren't. They're not heavy, heavy, but I mean, they're not the lightest things in the world either. And so obviously this, uh, having a strong magnet is gonna be quite beneficial. So my whole plan for this was to be able to just wear my backpack as I do. I mean, the angle's not gonna be perfect, but I think so far it beats this thing. And it might move around a bit more. Jiggle around a bit more. It might move around a bit more, but um, honestly the hyper smoothing on the GoPro is amazing, which is one of the reasons why I bought the Hero 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the magnet out. I've been, I stuck it on my car and then this older car, just so I don't damage anyone's nice paint. Obviously, we own these. I'm not sticking them on random people's cars. But, I mean, it sticks very well. Uh, this is kind of what I want if I'm walking around. Like if I'm on a street, put the camera up and get a wide angle shot or something of me walking by while I'm doing street photography so you guys aren't fixed on either on strapped to my backpack or on top of my camera. I just think, I just think that this will give a better uh, just overall look to the videos and a little more depth to the videos. Now, would I stick this on a car and drive it? De definitely not. Uh, I don't have that kind of money to be able to be misplacing and misusing camera equipment like that, but it's pretty steady for now, at least. And it's like a nice little rubber pad here, so it's not gonna scratch. Unless you obviously put it on paint and then smear it this way, which the dust will micro scratch everything. But honestly, I think this is probably gonna be the 90% of the time replacement. So honestly, this was like, what, I think maybe $27 after taxes. So far, totally worth it. But I'm not gonna give the full seal of approval till I take this out on a POV shoot, which hopefully is coming in the next week or so. So right now I just learned that uh, part of the roof on my car is actually metal and magnetizable. So I'm using the GoPro on it, which is kind of funny. Um, I know that's not really that big of a deal for most other cars, I guess, but mine's a convertible, so up here is all material. And uh, it sticks well enough for me to be able to do this probably at low speeds, but I, I bet if I hit a turn at anything more than like 30 miles an hour, uh, my camera will probably fly off. But I mean, one, I'm not over here driving F1, but on the other hand, it's nice to know that I can do this uh, just on any day. Like I can take it, put it over here. Put like a different angle. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's not the most secure, but it kind of gets the point across that I can do certain things 